Introduction to Pi Data Link. Well, before we talk about Data Link for Excel services, let's just uh, take a look, real quick look at Data Link itself. For those of you who may not be familiar, Data Link is an add in to Microsoft Excel. Now, it, the add in allows you to import data from the Pi system into a spreadsheet so that you can do analysis or shift reports, things like that. And as you can see, there's a variety of things you can bring in. You can bring in current data, you can bring in historical values, calculated data, etc., etc. So, combined with the, just the inherent power of a spreadsheet, you know, having that live process data in there, uh, it ends up being extremely useful for folks in manufacturing. Uh, I mean, ironically, uh, although Pi Process Book and RT Web Parts are kind of our flagship user interfaces, uh, to be honest, most of our engineers, uh, or our customers, they prefer working with Data Link. Engineers live in Data Link, so it's something that they, they like being able to work within their favorite tool uh, with the Pi data. So let's take a look at what, uh, what Data Link look and feel looks like. Now, this is a, an example of, uh, I guess, what you would call an analysis. As it said, there's a couple of things you can do. You can do analysis, you can do shift reports, you know, basically anything that you can do as, a, you know, as a, a, an engineer working in a spreadsheet. So let's take a look at uh, this right here. This is where you're seeing the live process data and averages or totals, standard deviations, things like that, being brought in from the Pi server into Excel using Data Link. Now we do this using a mechanism that you'll see over here. This um, this dialog box is specifying all those things required for us to retrieve the data. Things like the name of the server, uh, a reference, a cell reference to the tag. Now actually, I see the uh, the cell reference here is to something that's actually hidden on this spreadsheet, but the output is going to, in this case, cell uh, D19 which you'll see down here at the bottom. So you can see that's the result of this. This is doing an archive value. It's simply going out and finding that archive value at the timestamp you see right here. So at that timestamp, that's, uh, that's our archive value. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at a quick demo of this. So what you saw was a, a fairly advanced a spreadsheet using data link. Here's a real simple version of data link, or a very simple example. Uh, we've got some tags over here that we have found on the Pi server using a tag search. And then from these tags we've produced using the data link um, functions here, we've produced things like the descriptors for the tags, the current value for the tags, the average value for the tag between this start time and this end time. So that's basically a data link, uh, a data link spreadsheet or a data link enabled spreadsheet. Now, data link for Excel services gives us the ability to take this spreadsheet and move that onto a web page using a web part from Microsoft. As you can see, this dialog box here is where we control things like where we specify things like the name of the server, and um, well, let me show you the descriptor here. It's probably the simplest one. This is where we specify the tag names involved, etc. Now, in fact, if you look at this, this dialog box here is simply a mechanism for building the function. If you double click to actually look at this, you can see this is simply a function. These functions here uh, could easily be typed in by hand, but obviously it's a lot easier if you use the graphical user interface. Now, one final point. You're looking at the user interface for Office 2007 where if I wanted to produce, say, something as simple as a, um, as a current value, I would do it this way. I would type in the name of the tag, and then over here, if I want to put in a current value, I would use this uh, link up here, and then specify the tag name, click on OK, and we would see the current value. Let's put the timestamp on there as well. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're generating that function. The, the function ends up showing us the current value uh, in the current timestamp. Now that's the user interface with Office 2007 if you're using the latest version of Data Link, version 4.x. Those of you who have the earlier versions, don't. Uh, I hope this isn't confusing to see all these here. You will not see that with the 3.x version of Data Link. Instead, you'll find in the Add-ins section, you'll find an option here called Pi, and that's where you will find these functions.